Hello everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with my very last Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. Now, it's not easy to say goodbye and to wrap things up, but that's what I'm going to do today. It's very difficult for me, but uh, I want to first and foremost thank each and every one of you for all the support that you've given me throughout the years, whether you're uh, new to my channel or whether you've been with me for years since the, the Halo 3 days. I want to thank you for every view, every uh, thumb up, every comment, every subscription, every time you've shared my videos, attended an open game night, or submitted a video for my spotlight. I just want to thank you for everything you've done to make this channel a success. It's been an extremely rewarding experience, very, very rewarding and very inspiring to me personally. When I set out, I had no idea how big the channel would get and how, how uh, impactful my videos would be and it's just been incredible and very humbling very very humbling I never could have imagined how big it was gonna get um, so so I wanna first and foremost thank you and, and I will say that uh, you know when I saw the impact that I could make with these videos and with this channel you know just helping people get better at a video game as, as simple as that may be I thought wow you know, maybe I can make an impact in a much larger and much more meaningful scope. And so I, I kind of thought about just success in general and what makes people successful and what do successful people do that other people aren't doing. And I, I did a lot of research on this and I, I, I researched successful people and, uh, you know, tried to identify the core characteristics of successful people and what they were doing. And I ended up writing a book about it, and I've been doing so for a couple of years now. The book is just in the final stages of editing and development and publishing, and it should be available late uh, spring or early summer of this year, so it's really coming up. And that's one of the primary reasons, if, if not the primary reason, that I, I have to wind down on my channel here and put Halo off to the side so I can finish up with that book. But I, I want to I wanna let you know, uh, Please do not unsubscribe to my channel just yet because those who are subscribed to my channel are going to be the very first to find out the details about my book. You're going to be the first to find out the title of the book, when it's going to be published, when it's going to be released, what it's going to cost, and where you can get a copy. Uh, and I really encourage you to read it because I think it can change your life. I, I, I absolutely believe that this book can change uh, the way that you live your life in, in, a, in an extremely positive way. And uh, you know that's what I hope to do with the book and I think that it will also be a success and make an impact on people. And so I encourage you to stick around with your subscription, keep checking back on my channel from time to time and look for information regarding that book because it's really gonna be a fantastic book and I'm really very, very excited about it. Um, before, I, before I leave, uh, with my last video here, I want to just go back and renew some of my classic tips and tricks that I've shared over the years uh, and uh, just kind of leave you with a one last refresher. So let me go over some of those tips and tricks. Number one, you have to play smart. The biggest mistake that I see people making in Halo and have for years is that they only play offense. They never play any defense. And that's the number one mistake that I see people make over and over and over again. So you have to be smart. You have to play an offensive and defensive strategy. You have to be balanced. You have to know when to be aggressive and when to back down. That's very, very important. Number two is use teamwork. You don't want to go out there lone wolf style in a team game. You want to work with your teammates. You don't need to be obsessed with getting the most kills or getting all the glory or anything like that. Don't worry about other people quote unquote stealing your kills or anything like that. You wanna work as a team, put team shots into people. Now, I wanna point out this, this play right here. I have one shell left in the sniper. I anticipate him coming around the corner. I line it up. I've got one shot to make it and I take the shot, I get him. That was very, very good play. I just had to point that out. Um, but. Again, just work together as a team. That, that's so critical. The one stat that I wish Halo has that it doesn't is just the number of shots that you put into people because a lot of times you don't get credit. I mean, uh, you, sometimes you'll see assists come up, but you know, just putting shots into your opponents can be huge. Don't worry about necessarily getting the kill or getting the credit for the kills. 
you know, just being out there and wreaking havoc on your opponents and supporting your teammates can make a huge, huge difference. So make sure that you're doing that. Communication is huge. You really need to be communicating with your teammates. Uh, if you have a headset, make sure to use it. Put it on and talk to your teammates, even if they're not people you know. Uh, you never know. A lot of the the very best friends that I've made on Xbox Live, I just met in a random game, and we've been friends for years. So you never know who you're going to meet. Make sure you've got your headset on and you're talking to people. Um, the other thing is if you don't have a headset, I play and have played with a, a, just a cheap $5 headset that came with my Xbox for years. That's all I've ever used. It works just fine. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You don't need to have a lot of money to, to get a headset and to use a headset. So make sure that you're doing that. Um, you know, what, what else? Weapons, map control, weapon control. You know, weapon control isn't as big of a deal in Halo 4 because it's impossible to control the weapons with all the ordnance drops. That's one of the things that's frustrated me. But you still can implement some map control, and that's very, very important. Make sure that you have found, you've, you've, uh, you understand what are the, the most powerful positions on the map where you have an advantage. You want to make sure that you hold those positions and that you force your opponent's into a, a, a situation which is advantageous to you and disadvantage, dis, a disadvantage for your opponents. So you want to make sure that you're always trying to put yourself in the best possible position with the best possible weapons where it's going to be a, a real uphill battle literally and figuratively for your opponents. You just got to play smart, put yourself in a good position. Now in a lot of my videos I give you not only tips and tricks for Halo but also some tips and tricks for life and since this is my last video I want to give you a few of the things that I've learned along the way as I've done this channel as I've lived my life and researched this book and one of the things I want to say is never underestimate the impact that one person can make on the world at large. One person can make an enormous difference, an enormous impact that can ripple through several generations throughout the world and impact millions of people. Uh, anybody can do that. A lot of people have done that and a lot of people will do that. And the only question is, are you going to be one of those people? Um, never underestimate the difference that you can make. Number two, really identify what it is that you want most out of life. You could probably list several things that you like to do or like to become or like to achieve or uh, like to purchase maybe whatever it is there's a, probably a lot of things you'd like to have or like to be or like to do but what is it that you want most more than anything else because one of the main themes in my book is this that you can do anything with your life but you can't do everything okay and so what you need to do is focus on what you, what matters to you more than anything else what is it that you would give everything you would give anything for this one thing for this very top priority identify what that is and go after it with everything you have for your entire life and don't give up uh, pursue your dream pursue your goal uh, do everything in your power to reach that that goal that that, that you, to, to achieve that dream that you want more than anything else and Never underestimate your ability to reach your goals and to achieve your dreams and to do uh, whatever it is that you want most. Uh, like I said, you can do anything with your life, but you can't do everything. So make sure that you identify what it is that you want most and you just go after it with everything you have. Um, I want to leave you with a poll question today and the poll question is related to that. If you think about your maximum potential, if you were to look back on your life at the end of your life, and you were to look back and, and look at what you've done and who you've become, what would you consider to be a success for your life? What would you have to do to be pleased with your life? And think about that and leave a comment down below. What is it that you want to accomplish with your life that you feel like your life is going to be a success? And what kind of like impact do you want to make on the world? What kind of difference do you want to make? That's the poll question for the day. Again, I want to share my heartfelt thanks to everybody who supported me over the years. Please stay tuned, stay subscribed, because a lot more information regarding my book is going to be coming up. Thank you for watching. This is Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.